Okay, welcome back to my channel. I am Crystal Holiday, and today I'm with my niece and my baby daughter, and we are going to have a heart to heart today about some subjects that's been on our mind. Now, I know y'all know I love watermelon. I love watermelon, but I ain't been able to find no seeded watermelons, and it's a problem. So, you know, I started doing some research about the seeded watermelons and the seedless watermelons. Uh, properties, healing properties, where it has uh, ingredients that are vital to your body, okay? But the seedless watermelons, I noticed, I bought a watermelon. I cut the watermelon into little pieces. I cut the watermelon into little pieces put it in the refrigerator within a couple of days that it was translucent so I was like ew I I started googling because you know you find everything on Google so I started googling and I saw this um, channel it was called Chef Mama Rosa right so she she went and she bought a seedless watermelon she bought two of them and this was last year in July around this time and she was saying how she ate some of the watermelon, and then she actually gave herself an enema. And the watermelon came out exactly the way she chewed it mm -hmm. and put it in her system. So that was disgusting. She put one of the watermelons on her counter and the other one in the refrigerator. The one that was on the counter, within three to four days, it just started leaking. Just started leaking liquid. That was not watermelon liquid. It looked like like mixed paste with water she went to cut it right she said when she did cut the watermelon it just broke apart like a flower which is disgusting um when she she started pulling the rind and everything the the white part was like cardboard the 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 green part was like paper disgusting what y'all think about that the kind of food they trying to feed us and that's all you can find now, is seedless watermelons. That's the weird part, that's all you can find now. So, it makes you wonder about, you know, how it's made and how many people is actually experiencing this and not knowing, you know, because she knew, but that's weird, because we grew up on watermelon. I mean, speaking of fruit, I mean, watermelon is like a staple thing. You know, summertime, we love watermelon, and to think that now, that's something you can't trust. Watermelon? That's it's weird. Disgusting. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. And then to know that it's so prevalent, like it's everywhere, it just makes you wonder how purposeful is it? Like, y'all are definitely doing this on purpose. Mm -hmm. um, and just to know that she ate it and it came out the same way, like, I don't, I don't know how many of y'all don't eat watermelon. Most people eat watermelon, but as soon as you start chewing it, it looks completely different. Like the color starts to get lighter. You don't have to chew watermelon that many times for right. it to almost be completely water, digested. It's, like, water. it's almost all water. So the fact that it came out the same color, texture, like that's disgusting. It was really disgusting. I mean, the fact that I went to Produce Junction, I'm here in Philly. I went to Produce Junction. I went to the supermarket, uh, several supermarkets. Mm -hmm. Nobody is selling seeded watermelons i finally went to a truck and they had seeded watermelons now i've had that watermelon in the refrigerator for a week now it's still fresh and it's still crunchy so i, I don't know what's going on i do know it, it's to the point where you're scared to eat just about everything they're cloning everything it's like body snatches of the watermelon you know and it really sucks because it's like i feel like the black community has been on like an upturn when it comes to like trying to take care of our health and trying to eat right and it's like just as soon as we start eating right it's like okay now i'm just going to give y'all plastic vegetables to like kill you like okay, yes. we can't get you with the meat we're going to get you with the vegetables so like there's no way around it and then to know that our government is like co-signing on it's like y'all really don't they have to be co-signing like, because it's all. everywhere and i asked the asked the man in the produce place and i said why aren't you getting seeded watermelons he was like oh, i don't know why why we're not getting seeded watermelons how you not knowing it's your establishment mm -hmm. i mean a lot of people don't ask those questions so but like you said we are i think as a community i'm glad we're trying to be more health conscious and stuff mm -hmm. like that 
So I think a part of that is doing your own research and digging and seeing what you could do for yourself to, you know, maybe this can start for people to plant again, you know, make, mm. you know, grow their own fruit, things like that. And that's something that we do need to learn how to do again. So I, I mean, agree. you know, yeah. knowledge is power. Yeah. And no, I think that right. at that's the end right. of the day, we'll take a lot of these matters into our own hands so we don't yeah. have to, you know, keep taking that there are places in the united states and i would have to do further research to like give you some exact places there are places in the united states where it's illegal to live off the land like you can't completely grow all of your own food and like get your water out of the land for i mean water for obvious reasons but that's just crazy to me like yeah. if i grow 100 million tomatoes and i want to go on a strict tomato diet then i should be able to do that i don't care where i live you should you should yeah, people make money off of us not being able to take care of ourselves and that's crazy yeah, what what about that guy? He put the um, solar panels on his uh, house, and so he was he was running everything off the solar panels. They made off him the take grid. that down, yep. or they was gonna lock him up. Mm -hmm. So not getting anything off of it, which is crazy. That is crazy. When it comes to the watermelons, I'm staying away from the seed the seedless watermelons period mm -hmm. I'm gonna start I'm gonna stop eating the seedless grapes too because they are cloned as well so that might means that they, they not as good for you either because mm -hmm. the seeds have value mm -hmm. in the yeah. fruit mm -hmm. it makes the fruit nutritious mm -hmm. for you so I, I think I'm gonna I'm start eating seedless grapes as well but that's you know that's my opinion that's me but seedless water seedless watermelons I'm off of it I'm off of it. But today, in today's society, so much is is just being overlooked. Mm -hmm. You know, violence. Mm -hmm. um, you see so much violence in the world today. No. I agree. And on the topic of violence, I just want to take a second to talk about the woman in Alabama who um, is basically being charged with the death of her own child. So as the story goes, um, there were two women. One woman is pregnant. She's in the car with her friend. She's driving. She spots the other woman jump out. There is um, a confrontation before the physical altercation erupts. Um, the story goes is that um, the woman who's pregnant um, ends up shot. Her baby passes away. And the woman who shot her ends up getting off because, like, I just said the woman who was pregnant she was driving she hopped out they said that she started the altercation um the mom of the young woman who fired the gun said that she didn't actually shoot her she shot and fired at the ground and it ricocheted up into her so my question is does that make a difference do you feel as though the young woman who fired the gun does she deserve to be charged or is the mother truly the culprit here and she started it that she deserves to be charged. I, I don't think any mother would go out somewhere if she knew what would happen. Also, the person that had the gun, if you carrying a gun and you know that you might, even if she started it, something is going to go off. When we know if something might go off, you know, so you coming mm. in with a gun. Right. And the fact that you pulled it out and you pulled the trigger, you're automatically responsible once you pull that trigger, whether it hits somebody or not, because you know what a gun can do. So I don't think she should just get off scot-free. And I don't believe that she pulled the gun out and aimed it down to the ground. That's ridiculous. That just don't make no sense to me at all. And yes, I think if she's getting away with that, because I, I didn't hear about that, um, but if she, she should not get away with the fact that now wait a minute you saying that the the pregnant woman mm -hmm. is being charged right yep, the now i don't understand how the pregnant woman is being charged for the gun killing her baby when she ain't had a gun she didn't have the gun right it's the person who had the gun who should be charged i agree that's crazy what is she being charged with um manslaughter wow she's being charged with manslaughter my thing I don't. I honestly don't know who who needs to be charged because on one hand you have this woman who's licensed to carry, so she was within her rights. She felt threatened. She was supposedly being attacked, 
But and, but on the other hand, you have this five month pregnant woman who I know hormones and emotions are raging. They said that she had lost her home in a fire. Um, subsequently, after all that, she lost her job. So, but like even the before things, like I don't know what was going on with her. Clearly, it was a lot for her to hop out on somebody. So I just, well, she in her right state of mind. It's just a lot to think about here, and it's hard for me to say one way or the other who should be charged because I feel like both parties played. Yeah, a role. but I mean, but you figure she been charged over and over and over because she, she done lost her baby. Sometimes that's the, the you know? consequence you have to suffer when you make poor decisions. Not that she deserves it. I'm not saying she deserves it at all. But life's not fair. And that's just sometimes how the cards play out. So the the girl that pulled the gun, she's just getting away scot-free, period. According to the article I read, yep, the charges wow. were dropped and dismissed because there was evidence um, and eyewitness testimony that said that the other girl who was pregnant started it. I mean, yeah, that, that that's that's just well, that's well. Mm. You know, I done had I had three kids. Y'all know, I am ride or die for mine. Okay, when it comes down to mine, I ride or die. But I, I'm also protective of them. So the fact that I'm pregnant, if I even think anything is gonna happen. Uh uh, no, I wouldn't have had myself in that situation. Period of arguing and 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 whatnot. I mean, it, it's sad that things happen like that. But your child is first, you know. And a mother's instinct, like the minute I think something bad gonna happen, I ain't gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I think either way, and that's the thing out of everything I take from it, it's just sad because even though say the woman didn't get any legal charges or anything like that she still have to live with the fact that dang because of this altercation I kind of you know and one of the reasons why this lady lost her child I didn't mean to be the reason for that so whether you're carrying a child or you're carrying a gun or anything like that you have something to lose and it's still a responsibility and it's a slippery slope when you put yourself out there and you have intentions to probably do harm or you go off of anger or something. It's always not the best consequence. So I just hope that both women get peace after a while because at the end of the day, it's sad because the baby got lost now. And neither one of them, I'm sure, meant for that to happen. If it were me, I definitely feel like I would try to do the responsible thing, which would have never to been to jump out of the car, pop off on anybody. Mm -hmm. You try and run down on people, playing Cardi B, you want to be mm -hmm. Tough Tony, and you had to find out the hard way what happens to Tough Tony. So I feel like people who have responsibilities to take care of at home need to act accordingly um, and just be decent human beings. Like, and then to think that maybe this whole altercation started over a guy is like, oh girl, you're you're far too is old. The, you're far too old. Like wow. that's mm. childish behavior. So if it was me and my advice to everybody else is, be responsible, stay out of altercations. Um, if it's really that deep, like keep it pushing. Your best revenge is that dollar. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, absolutely. Shout out to my girl Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much for joining me and this panel. We're going to be doing this every Sunday. We're going to be bringing different topics to you, you know, and put down below what you may want to hear about, us talk about, you know, because this is real everyday stuff that's happening, okay? So, again, like, subscribe. I am Crystal Holiday. And as always, this is what I always say, be blessed.